Hey, what's going on? So today I'm ripping apart the, just the valve covers, that's all I'm doing, and I'm going to replace the seals, but I'm also going to be spray painting the valve covers to make it just pop. That's all I'm trying to do. Well, when I was taking it off, I've never seen valve cover seals this bad. Now, if you have a lot of like leakage going on and stuff like that, remember that gravity will kind of give clues because you know it goes down. Oil does um, usually. So, but anyways, um, I'm replacing the seal, and I was taking it off, and you gotta see this. It's like crumbling. There you go. Now can you see it? It's crumbling apart. This. Seal was not doing its job. I've never seen a gasket just crumble like a potato chip. I've seen them close, but not quite like this. So anyways, I'm going to be simply putting a new gasket on. Hey, hey look, there they are right there. And uh, I'm going to be spray painting. And the whole purpose of this video is to just simply show you the before and after picture of, hey, how cool does it look? if you spray paint your valve covers. Well, I'm going for the original look. I don't want to go for that aftermarket look. Different strokes for different folks, but that's what it looks like. Give you the nasty side. Uh, that's what it looks like. But yeah, all valve covers are, in case you're like, I'm scared. Don't be scared, it's easy. Um, just make sure you don't get dirt on the inside um, of your engine. It's pretty, you know, pretty much it. So get you a little tray, put your little stuff in like that. And uh, yeah, along the way you go. So, hmm. all right. If you are working on this 7.3, um, I'm not gonna lie. Getting the passenger side valve cover off was very, 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 very tricky. Um, it would help if the fuel filter uh, was not on right there. But I managed to finagle it out, with getting little <laughs> as much as I can debris in my flipping valley right there so thankfully there's filters on these engine and nothing's gonna get past the uh, oil filter so I don't see anything too big other than that nice little chunk sitting right there and yeah, that's real nice but yeah so if you are working on one of the Ford big blocks like this I don't think the 460 is like this but yeah the uh, fuel filter really what hindered this side from going easy not gonna lie this side sucks so yeah. never mind the emissions label no one cares about that I'm gonna blast it off but I am going to use a sandblaster you can use a wire wheel to take these off um, but sandblaster is gonna make my life a lot easier so yeah all right not gonna lie cleaning these bad boys up was a little bit more challenging than what I expected because I'm doing this the right way. If you're ever gonna get paint to stick, you gotta, gotta get a nice clean surface and you don't paint over grease. So what I ended up doing is just using this engine degreaser and uh, let it soak on there for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, then I came along with my brake parts cleaner, it's excellent stuff, and uh, wash all the yucky off. And I did end up taking a wire wheel um, to, that guy right there to get that sticker off there because it didn't come off. Um, you don't have to use a sandblaster. Um, I've been using a sandblaster and uh, um, it just makes life easier. You can do it with the wire wheel. Um, it just takes a lot more work. But yeah, progress is being made. Oh, there we go. I'm ready to start putting on my paint now. Ooh, very, very, very nice. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. And there it is, something that's relatively easy, not too hard. Just change the gasket and paint it with whatever paint you want to use. I suggest putting some, uh, whoops, <laughs> For like crystal clear uh, on the outside, kind of like that, to protect finished paint. Just like that, it looks like a completely different engine. I like it. Me likey likey!